Well, welcome everybody to the 2nd of February, still in MCO, and hopefully, hopefully, in two days we will go into our MCO, which again is a less restricted movement order. As you can see, we're, we're, today we've come to we've come to the we've come to the uh, Miami Beach, my old stomping ground, because I used to just live behind there. As you can just see it through the trees, Miami Green Apartments, lovely apartments, fifteen hundred per month, three bedrooms. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms, balcony, sea view, what more can you ask for? So today is the Miami Green. Let's have a look. I wonder if the tide's in. Okay, as you can see at the top of the road from the coastal road, heading towards Bata Faranga, Batu Faranga, should I say? It's a local bus, the 101, every 10 minutes. Very, very cheap. Only from Georgetown, I think, from Georgetown to Batu Thuringia, 250. From here, Miami, Miami Beach, it is 150. Marvellous bargain. So, as you can see, everyone's shut down. Now, here, this is the clothes stall, t-shirts, Penang t-shirts, shorts, a bit of diving equipment, lilos, we've got some local food, great prices, three to six ringgit, what more could you want, but our business at the moment, not even doing takeaways, so it must be really quiet, they're probably open, on the weekends but then again there's no interstate travel at the moment so they may not just up the road where you saw I showed you uh, I showed you the Hilton and Miami Cafe Miami Ooh, Cafe Beach cheap drinks cheap food owned by an Indian there's the Miami Green Tower. I don't know if anybody lives inside, but it is occupied. Let's go then and have a look at the beach, eh? Again, this is a beach that is usually locals. Weekdays then, when there is intercity travel, many come and, again, many locals. Well, many uh, intercity locals, intercity state locals. Okay, let's have a look. What do you think? Tides are thin, I thought. Like the trees just fallen over or broke off. <laughs> Looks like the road is subsiding. Maybe problems. Maybe problems. Uh, <laughs> Let's have a look at the sea. As you can see on that rock there, I think that lights up on an evening as a beacon. Just to warn the ships, the close to rocks.
The only trouble I found with the Miami green area was there was no shops apart from the the community shop within the development owned by a couple of friends of mine lovely Indians people Mama likes to spend her days watching Netflix we've, we've shared some great <laughs> films and father in and out Good man, I like them both. They've looked after me when I was there. They've looked after me. Only trouble again, they're just they're just making just enough to possibly eat and just to live. Nothing more, nothing less. There's no one actually in the uh, the apartments. To be honest now. Yeah, the tide's coming in because you, you could actually walk round here on the beach. Just above there around the corner you will see Moonlight Bay, which is on We've, we've done a uh, video of it on our channel on YouTube, please have a look. And also on tourandtakein.com there's plenty more info, pictures. There's a story behind my cafe. Miami Cafe. I once I used to go down for a beer and one night I was drinking with a few people and the next minute I must have fallen asleep as I woke up on the premises I'd lost my wallet and I think I generally lost my wallet I don't think it it had been stolen. I actually generally lost my wallet. I can't remember how much cash was in, but my main concern was my TransferWise credit card. Now I looked all over for this in the sand and within, and I just couldn't find it. The problem was, I didn't have much cash in house, in the house to keep me going until I got another card I was okay for spending on the card online and with my bank card but I couldn't withdraw any money from my bank card because it it's a block pin so I just use that now for booking apartments or buying things online anything online and I use my transfer wise card I always have two cards as a safety net so uh, I had to order another transfer wise great account it's a it's a great safety net and the charges are absolutely low yeah I've saved lots of money throughout my travels using transfer wise I'll drop the account well I'll drop a link into it and uh, if you want to order one, it takes 10 minutes online. And trust me, it's great to have a safety net if you're travelling. Not just one card. And it's, and it's low transaction fees. Okay? And yes, it is an affiliate, but it doesn't cost you anything more. And it helps me to fund this site. So please, please, if you do need another card, and you want long, low transactions fees I advise it and it's in over 40 countries now so it's well worth it okay so let's stop looking at this ugly mug and let's look at the beautiful view
as you can see, this one is not much of a cove. It, well, it, it is a bit of a cove, but it's quite a big cove. This way, leading to Batu Faringa. Left, going right, we're going into Georgetown down the coastal road. I will actually do a trip on the coastal road on my bike and do it in stages and let you see it. I have done a couple of parts from here to Bachelor Finger from Miami on my bicycle and my, and my motorbike. They're online now but I just need to uh, address them with uh, some subtitles as, as there's no speaking in them. Okay, I've just learned how to speak. <laughs> Okay, well, we can't go around here. So hopefully, and I keep mentioning this, hopefully it will be CMCO in two days. Fingers and toes crossed. Because if it's not, certain commerce would be shutting down. I'm afraid. It's dying of slow, slow, a death, dying slowly. And this would be for three months. So, so they predict it will be the, one of the nails in the coffin. I honestly believe that the economy can't take any more of this. People, the aftermath's going to. Oh, shocking already but I'm a, I'm a positive person and I believe whatever is around the corner we will overcome it just keep strong so as you can see a bit of a pebbly beach little pebbles not a great stretch of sand But as I say, I think the tide's coming in. It's a peaceful area where you can walk up. There's, there's a few, three or four beaches around here. I used to come down, walk down from my apartment, turn left, just follow the coastal road round by being safe because there's not a lot of walkway. And you would come across Moonlight Bay and a superb beach which I call it I call it the Enchanted Enchanted because there's quite a lot of things down there you wouldn't normally see on a beach someone's lived down there or is living down there I used to go down maybe I've been down about about four times Never seen anyone apart from the dogs, but they look well, well fed. There's a sleeping accommodation down there, so someone, that someone's using the hut. The well is dry though, the well's dry. Uh, but as I say, I've been down different times of the day and never seen anyone. I was gonna, I was gonna tempt fate and probably go down there with a couple of peg nights and maybe sleep over but <laughs> we, we are, in the end everyone thought it was a great idea but in the end we all lost our bottle Ooh, be careful on these rocks especially especially in flip-flops because your flip-flops are quite slippy on these so uh, yeah we all bottled it <laughs> It would have been good fun, but there's, there's quite a few stories, quite a few stories about it. Like it's haunted, and then, I mean, when you, when you see Winnie the Pooh hanging from a tree and his, and his emanated friends, his cartoon friends, why? Why would Winnie, Winnie the Pooh be hanging from a tree? And then there's a subscription. There's a subscription 
ca uh, carved in into concrete New York City 2001 201 and they didn't make it to the next number but again strange so I call it the haunted beach behind up there where my old apartment was lots of monkeys daily mm -hmm. when I'm in when I was in the kitchen you would see many monkeys coming out foraging for food got some great pictures I'll have to put some on the site all right let's have a walk so if we come down the beach we're not going to go gonna as this we turned right from where we started walk along right we should come to the end where there is the Miami cafe I don't think he's operating at the moment As I mentioned before in the other videos, I, I, I really feel lucky. I really I'm blessed. I feel blessed, and I enjoy waking up. It's neat. I've got lots to do. I've got lots to do. But the only problem <laughs> staying in. I, I'm an extrovert. I like to go out and meet people. I like to explore. I like to uh, see things. What are these? Some beautiful sand around here, ideal for sunbathing, no pebbles, get a good tan here. Well I wonder what these were. Were they toilets? Yeah, too many, too many to be just toilets. So they've got water going into them or maybe there were chalets we call it in England we call them chalets chalets c-h-a-l-e-t-s chalet maybe there were chalets but again a bit small but yeah I suppose put a, a frame in with a door you've got enough room for a bed haven't you Maybe a little side wardrobe to put your clothes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten of them. Yeah. Looks silly away apart from the roof. Probably needs a bit of woodwork doing it. Probably won't cost a lot to do up as beach shallows. Rent them out per night, per week, or per season. Again, where I come from, they, they rent them out per season. Well, per summer season, which I don't know. To be honest, I've, I've not been back for a long time, but our summers don't last very long. So probably they rent from maybe May to September but they're not cheap on the North Bay not cheap at all my brother used to have one with his family I think he shared I think he shared it with other families entire Miami well yeah well they're cool yeah looks nice We've got a storeroom, so we've got right to use the toilet. 0.20 cheap shower, warm ring it. That's like 20 pence in English money. Same with a locker. Quite nice. I can see why this is busy, and it is. It does get busy on weekends. A 
everything locked. Disabled toilet as well, nice to see. Looks nice as well. Good. We have an hard enough life as it is with disabled people. Look after them. Oh, well, very nice. Very clean. Very nice indeed. Better than I expected, to be honest. Better not going to three more with somebody in. I don't know what this is. See, I'm being nosy, but it's locked. Yeah, very impressed. Impressed. It's disabled toilets, but... Oh, and there's a ramp as well. Cool. That's what I like to see. Someone on the beach having exercise. Very impressed with it. Especially if you've got kids. Now that looks fantastic. What a view. Nice beach, yep. Yeah. Nice view. Some rich houses up there. Cool, 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 cool. Bit of rubbish letting it down. See if we can get through, eh? Yeah, we might be able to get through. Don't know what this is. Looks like a house. How are you? You okay? Everything's shut. No, no beer. No beer. <laughs> oh, they're open. Ah, oh, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm driving. I'm driving. Yeah. I don't live up there now. I live in uh, near near Georgetown. Yeah, I live near there. It was a bit too. It was a bit too quiet. Especially around here, especially with the CMC, uh, with the MCO. So how are you? Oh, okay. Cool. I, I, I haven't forgot, are you still down here regular? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I want to go fishing over there. Yeah, yeah. When, when the CMCO, I'll come and definitely see you. It's okay, I every day go every day. You're here every day? Yeah, I walk in the You can get us a boat, yeah? yeah. Okay. I put a net, two days I think I put a net. What, what time are you here usually? Ah, uh, I really walk, I uh, can't come fish, fish, huh? Ah. Uh, what time's the best time to come and see you? Three, four o'clock. Three o'clock in the yeah, afternoon? Better, better. And then we can go out? Yeah, yeah, okay. What, three o'clock? Yeah, All right. four o'clock. All right, three well, I'll come up, I'm not, I've got a bite, sir, but... Oh. Yeah. People are struggling, yeah? Yeah, you car? No, no, just a bike. Uh, bike. But I've got some work to do when I get back in. Walking, huh? Well, not a lot, but... Oh. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, very kind. All right, man. I'll see you later. Yeah, yeah, Take care. Yeah. I'll definitely do it with you because I want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but try and get me a rod. Yeah, busy. Yeah, I got a rod. Busy rod. Yeah. I got it. Cool. Yeah. Take care. Oh, I've met that guy a few times, like I say, when I used to have a drink in Miami, cafe. He can have a drink now. I don't know whether he said I, I could drink in, but I'm breaking the sock if that's the case. But 
Anyway, 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 what do you think? What do you think? Nice beach, yes? Can't get round, unfortunately. Because the tide is coming in. I'll have to come earlier. Okay, so thank you very much for your time. Please subscribe if you've got a minute. Share. As I said, it, I'm not doing this for monetary terms. I'm doing this to for not, a bit of motivation. And, and all my sites, my website, my blog, my Facebook page, my Pinterest, Pinterest, uh, Instagram. Just a catalogue of me travelling. Because we do get older, we do forget things. So, and I really, really enjoy it. So, remember, stay strong. We'll get over this. <laughs>